Hey everybody, it's uh, it's Distant here. I'm going to uh, be making a series of videos um, explaining some basic and sometimes advanced PvP mechanics in uh, Dark Souls 3. Um, this is going to be the first one. It's going to be the distinction between lag and latency. Um, in the background, I'm just going to have me fucking destroying and murdering a fight club. Um, but uh, onto the topic, um, latency... Uh, Latency is just a measurement of um, the delay it takes to uh, send information from a client to another client or server. Um, so for instance, if since Dark Souls 3 is a peer-to-peer -peer game, all um, information is sent on a client-to-client -client basis. Um, so if you get someone into the arena and you're fighting someone there, all your information is going to be sent directly to them instead of past the server. So you will have like the fastest connection available to you two at that point. Um, what this means is uh, latency is reduced uh, and basically put to a minimum. Even though like there is no region lock, this helps a lot. And because of how Dark Souls 3's netcode works, it's actually pretty good. Like the netcode for this game is actually really decent. It's it for what it is. It's optimized like almost fully. Um, I think people just think it's bad because they don't know how it works. And maybe with some of these uh, videos I can clear that up because I, I do know how it works really, really clearly. Um, so latency, uh, something that people really uh, seem to not understand in the, even like the high level PVP community sometimes, um, is just a, it's just a measurement between how long it takes information to go from one client to another. If I I'm finding someone in the arena, and they're standing still. Just just for example purposes, if they're standing still and I R1 them, this guy's hacking by the way. If I R1 them, um, and they uh, they stand still, they don't roll at all. It will take whatever the latency is in time to reach them. So if the latency is five seconds, and I R1 them, five seconds later they're going to get that R1 on their screen. Now the thing is, if they aren't rolling when they get the, that R1, if they aren't in iframes, they'll take damage. Um, now, five seconds is a lot of latency. As an example, it's not that bad to use, but if in a real world situation, usually latency doesn't go above like maybe 90. Um, and 90 isn't that bad. You can, you can still fight someone pretty good with 90 latency as long as uh, your connection is still steady. Um, you can't do certain things at really high latency. Is like if you're finding someone from Europe and you live in like Western US, uh, the latency could be upwards of like 180, which means if you try to whiff punish certain weapons, uh, you could get some odd effects. Like they could be in the iframes by the time they get your R1, meaning if you try to whiff punish them, it's not going to do damage. You, you see this a lot with two anti great swords. If you try to whiff punish them and they live in Europe, um, they could be in hyper armor. So Normally where you would like break their hyper armor with your whiff punish, you could just eat another attack and that would be bad because you would lose that if they're in hyper armor and you're not. Um, you can't roll catch on reaction at higher latencies. This usually applies to uh, faster weapons and uh, things like S-Doc, Curved Sword, and Daggers and Crossbows are really good at reaction roll catching. Um, once you get past whatever the uh, the active attack frames are for something, even at zero latency, you wouldn't be able to do that. But when you increase the latency, you could have like maybe 80 ping and not be able to reaction roll catch someone, which means if you're in Western US and someone else is in Eastern US, you might not be able to reaction catch them with like an S-Doc or something. But you could probably still do it with a curve sword or a crossbow. Anyways, back on the topic. Um, that's completely different from uh, what I would call packet loss or network lag. Um, if someone's dropping packets, uh, their connection isn't stable, which means they are, all the information you're sending to them, if you can imagine like a stream of water being sent to them, something is going and scooping out that fucking water, or it's like falling through like a, a channel and it's got like holes in it and they're losing all that water, which is basically information. Like they're losing that. So because of this, sometimes you'll see them skip around and a lot of the times this network lag is caused by poor upload and download speed uh, caps. So if you only got like 
um, a megabyte upload and download, which is really bad for today's standards. Uh, you could see a lot of skipping around and stuff like that. Um, if, for instance, I'm fighting someone and their upload just capped, uh, they might stop for me. They might like start teleporting around and stuff. All of their hits would stop registering. They would be basically T-posed and sliding around. Um, but if their download is fine and their upload's just messed up, that means every uh, attack I send to them, even though they can't attack me, I can still attack them. Um, and chances are I'm going to end up killing them if it stays like that because they just won't be able to attack back. And I'll be basically free to R1 mash them to death. This is why um, you'll see a lot of players, uh, when they see someone like that, they will just start like pulling out their fastest, most highest DPS weapon and just going ham. Um, if, for instance, their download was capped and their upload was fine, uh, it would be the opposite. Um, they would be seeing um, me T-posed. They would be able to be sending a whole bunch of uh, attacks towards me and uh, I would be getting hit. The difference is, is if your download's capped, all of those things that are being sent out to you, like if I'm attacking you and your download's capped, um, you could just end up receiving a whole bunch of attacks all at once. Like you could be getting hit like five times all in one swing or something. Or I might be like attacking with half animations or something like that. And that that's that's actually like really common in this game. Although it's a lot less common than like upload uh, capping. And that's really just the gist of it as far as um, networking goes in this game. Uh, People give this game a bad rep as far as like net code and shit like that when it's really not that bad. Um, there's a lot of other examples I could use like if you are in Oregon like me and you're fighting someone from California like my friend Grim um, and he's in Northern California, I'm in Northern Oregon and we have probably like maybe 25 milliseconds of latency at most. Uh, we can like reaction parry Curve swords, S stock, straight swords, just fine. Uh, although, like, we probably wouldn't be able to do it in the heat of the battle. Like, we can do it, and we've tested it numerous times, and um, it's definitely a thing. However, if either of us were going to try to do that to like someone in the eastern U.S., the latency would go from 25 milliseconds to like maybe uh, 70 to 90, which means if we tried that. Uh, chances are we physically aren't going to be capable of doing that at that point um, just because of the way uh, the game works like the way parrying works is if someone um, if you send a parry to someone's client it'll travel latency time so it'll travel to them and it will arrive in say 90 milliseconds and after it arrives, after that 90 milliseconds, if they are attacking your parry bubble, I would call it, um, they would then end up getting into a parried state and then you could repost them. The problem with this is if you are trying to reaction parry something, their R1 also takes 90 milliseconds to get to you. So if they R1, it takes 90 milliseconds to get to you. And then at that point, you uh, see that and you try to parry it. It takes another 90 milliseconds to get to them in basically increasing the delay of your parry by 180 milliseconds. And for some weapons like uh, curved swords and s stock and straight swords where the entire animation of the R1 is like twice that time, just barely, um, you're not going to be able to get that at all. Your reaction time would have to be like within the tens of milliseconds in order to get that. And against European players it just wouldn't even be physically possible. So that's also why things like uh, third hit parries for people don't always work. If you um, try to third hit parry someone from like Europe or Australia and you're in Western US, um, by the time the third R1 comes and hits you, they could be not attacking, they could be in iframes, they could be away from you. So if you parry, you're just going to end up eating that extra hit and you're not going to be getting any sort of... Um, uh, what you call it, any sort of punish on them. Um, 
hyper armor works in the same way. Although I'm not going to get into like a lot of the, the hit detection, um, how that stuff works, because that is uh, good stuff for another video where I can get really in depth in like a 15 minute video about how all of those things work, because all of the things in this game basically go through the same function as far as netcode goes. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I, I really need to make this video so people understood. Um, if you have any questions or uh, comments, or you want me to do some specific uh, video on mechanics of this game, uh, feel free to let me know. This is my first video made using the uh, the Share Factory on PS4. I've never done it before. It seems really nice that so you get to record video and then add commentary over it, which is nice because I I I can do live commentary, but it's like it's not good and I can't keep thoughts together because I'm too focused all the time um, which is nice because then I get to actually get in depth and explain things really thoroughly like I did now god damn this guy I hate him I think I die after this fight too so, uh, some pyro parries me and then he has a wake up with a uh, black serpent I don't even think that's dodgeable if you do a wake up with black serpent it was fun killing that hacker earlier. That was my first hacker I've ever seen. Yep, this is where I die. This is the last fight. Spoiler alert. Distant gets wrecked. He parries the fuck out of me too. I don't know why I ate that either. That was stupid of me. I guess I just expected to win because all these other guys haven't been very good. I'd, I had been basically murdering this entire fucking fight club up until this point. I get married right about now. Yep, and there I go. Oh well. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I plan on making more videos like this in the future. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment if you have any suggestions or anything. Anyways. Bye, guys. Have a nice day.